Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day everyone. Okay, my name is Dr. Juan Matmin from UTM and I will be presenting my work on antibacterial properties of water synthesized silver zeolitic imidazid primers 8. For the introduction, the current global challenges require the United Nations to outline uh, what we call as the Sustainable Development Goal or SDG. And we are going to highlight further on the SDG 3 that is going to tackle the good health and well-being challenges. Uh, as of concern, since the COVID-19 pandemic, we know that the health challenges have even become more critical, whereby the bacterial infection has threatened the public health and lead to severe infectious disease and weaken our immune system. Just by consuming antibacterial, this will further result on the antibacterial resistance. Therefore, an enhanced antibacterial agent should be produced and developed. Since silver has shown a good antibacterial properties over the years, this material should be incorporated in our uh, antibacterial design. Therefore, it needs a support material that should enhance the silver properties. Uh, as we know, uh, nations uh, are not going to be left behind and have outlined several policies in terms of um, Malaysian socio-economic with drivers by my STIE, 10 to 10 my STIE, as well as the KEGA, Key Economic Growth Activities, which had highlighted the national technology based on its current uh, Dasar Nano Technology Negara or the current nanotechnology focuses 2021 to 2030. And uh, ever since the uh, exploration of uh, graphene, we know that there is another type of material that is as known, uh, been known as the MOF, MOF or metal organic frameworks that uh, in particular known as ZIF-8 been highlighted over the past 10 years. Uh, but the problem remains that there is a lack of material that could tackle the antibacterial issues. Uh, and there is no support material that are stable enough to endure the biological impact. And this material should have the ability to enhance as well as avoid the accumulation and the oxidation of silver. Therefore, uh, to adapt with the challenges of mine that, uh, we uh, synthesize a zip 8 and a silver zip 8 using uh, water as a solvent. Uh, and this material after the characterize and evaluate for its properties in the antibacterial activities. The scope of study consists of three parts where we focus on the synthesis part of the zip 8 and silver zip 8. We also characterize this material based on the following uh, what we call as the structural analysis. Uh, we also uh, focus on the antibacterial properties as this part of the scope uh, of study based on the DDP uh, or uh, better known as these distribution methods. These are the uh, methodology uh, outlined on this research where the methodology uh, going to have a, what we call as molecular structure studies uh, this is to see whether our material can be synthesized using the uh, water solvent only. Uh, and for the preparation of ZIF-8 part, we also uh, have uh, modified this material uh, using a simple source. And uh, for the characterization part, there are two parts where we uh, conducted the structure analysis of ZIF-8 and then we modified that using the silver uh, uh, the silver nitrate to see whether the uh, material can act as a support material. And for the evaluation of the performance, we then conduct uh, the studies based on uh, different uh, type of material. This is how we synthesize Z8 using the uh, water as solvent. Uh, as 
of concern zip is typically uh, uh, synthesized or prepared using the present of uh, hazardous solvents such as ethanol or isopropyl uh, alcohol. These uh, solvents are usually not uh, environmentally friendly. Therefore, we conducted a uh, uh, and adapt the water synthesis this uh, based on this following procedure. Uh, this procedure uh, is uh, able to be adapted because we have conducted earlier using a uh, hypercam software the interaction, the specific interaction of uh, hydrogen bonding, uh, where we look at the uh, specific interaction of the ligand, uh, 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 the organic uh, organic linkers that with the water based on the hydrogen bonding and we also monitored the specific hydrogen bonding using the uh, FTIR and based on that uh, we uh, managed to propose a mechanism specific interaction of the uh, hydrogen bonding and we managed to synthesize this Z8 uh, to retain the uh, what we call as the hierarchical structures the presence of a mesophore and a micropore uh, at a considerably high surface area of over 600 meters square per gram. Uh, when we look on the morphologic part, we found that this ZIF material is actually a hexagonal structure okay, uh, without any agglomeration. This uh, uh, indicate that the uh, water synthesis have a good uh, compatibility as well as the uh, ZIF-8 itself have a good uh, stability in terms of the metal organic uh, liquids. Uh, we also conducted uh, the RUVVs where we look at the uh, absorption spectra of uh, around 200 to 300 nanometer. This indicate that uh, the ligand that doesn't uh, really uh, disrupt or meaning that it's just uh, there is a changes in the uh, in the uh, network but not in the overall structures. We further uh, analyze our ZIF8 and compare it with the simple ZIF8. Then we found that the hexagonal structures there uh, show that uh, very uh, good hexagonal structures uh, that uh, in the end going to give uh, around 133 nanometers, but when we incorporate this material with the simple, we found that there is a uh, what we call as the uh, incorporation and the uh, network become strange. Uh, this is uh, what we call as the compatibilities of the structures that infuse a silver uh, nanoparticle. To further prove that the silver C8 is present, we conducted a elemental distribution uh, x ray where we look at the presence of silver at around uh, 4 kilo, kilo electron volts. And this meaning that the silver is present and uh, incorporated in the uh, network of our Z. Again, to further prove that this. Uh, uh, ZIF-8 can able to be incorporated with the zilfer. We further conducted the X-ray fluorescence, where we look at the presence of silver metal, okay, and this silver metal is almost similar as the edit X and this is earlier at around three kilo electron volt. And based on that findings and confirmation, we confirm that the silver are present and successfully synthesis at this following ratio. Uh, to further prove when the, the uh, silver is actually present, uh, not just a mixture, uh, we conducted the XRD, X-ray diffraction, uh, where we see that the uh, findings here, let's look at the uh, uh, diffractogram here, we know that the sharp, sharp peaks of our Z the bare zip is actually preserved where the presence of silver is only at the silver zip bar where we look at the uh, 
one 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 milli in this system, uh, corresponding to the presence of uh, silver C. This uh, proves that the crystallinity structures is already preserved, uh, and the uh, silver is actually uh, incorporated into the frameworks. This is where we conduct a study based on FDIR, where uh, we acknowledge that the zinc structures is actually the metal linkers, uh, and there is no uh, what we call as the NH bond, uh, the functional group here, meaning that it's already deprotonated and the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, ligand here is already acted as a, a linkers and giving a uh, what we call as the frameworks of the Z. Uh, to further study on the application, we realized that based on the uh, antibacterial activity here, uh, on the this diffusion test, we found that when we incorporated a, Z, a single Z, uh, we found that uh, the, uh, uh, the what we call as the uh, 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 activity here increase. We found that uh, there is a, a certain increase of our halo uh, structures here. We found that at the Z8 uh, only have 18 millimeters, while the single Z uh, give us around 25 millimeters in the gram positive bacteria. Uh, this is also similar when we talk about a gram negative. Uh, the bacteria where the silver zip enhance its uh, activity from 15 millimeters to 22 millimeters. So this show that the presence of uh, silver ion have uh, destroyed and changed the strain structures. Both give a good antibacterial agent uh, properties, but when we incorporate a silver zip, uh, the silver is actually preserved. And it's going to give more, uh, better what we call as the antibacterial properties as compared to the bare Z8. As a conclusion, the Z8 material is actually offered a good flexibility of functionalization uh, of different uh, metal uh, incorporated into its uh, meso and macro frameworks, and it can be actually a huge potential material for. Uh, magical technologies as we confirm on this on the synthesis procedure which is obeying the green synthesis part and we also uh, have a good uh, characterization of this material and based on the performance evolution this material has a good potential uh, to be developed as an antibacterial agent these are the following recommendations where we would like to see uh, various concentrations of the Z8 and we are going to further uh, look at the antibacterial properties based on the IC and so on. We also would like to see the Z8 is used on different types of metal. <coughs> this is an acknowledgement of my uh, previous uh, research student. I shouldn't take all the credit and this work has been successfully done and being awarded uh, based on my uh, previous student studies. Uh, with that, I would like to say thank you.